Hey, what's up, Tube? Wellington here, and welcome to another sound battle where we let speakers speak for themselves. Um, in the battlefield today, we're still looking at the JBL Charge 4, and this time we're going up against the Sony SRS XB31. Um, as usual, I will be using a high quality binaural microphone, so for the best experience, please use headphones. And with that said, let's hear the speakers speak. Hold on, girl, now wait just a minute. I've got something to say, you should hear it all. I'm happy to make time for your feelings. But you have to admit, I already do. Let's just break it down. There you have it. So um, if you're looking for the loudest of the two, if that's your deciding factor, um, the SRS XP31 is your guy here. It is louder than the Charge 4. It's not like by a ton, but it is louder. Um, but as far as sound, like what's coming out of them, which one sounds better? Well, it might not be as loud and I hate that it's a mono speaker, um, but the Charge 4 sounds significantly well balanced than the Sony SRS XP31. Um, the Charge 4 also seems to handle bass a little bit better, but both speakers have some pretty good bass performance if you ask me. Um, but when it comes to mids and most especially the highs, um, the Charge 4 is again performing 
better than the XP31. Um, so out of the two, the Charge 4 is the better sounding speaker. But like I mentioned, it's a mono speaker because it only has one driver. So if that's a deal breaker for you, maybe the XP31 is not that bad after all. Um, Sony actually gives you an option to choose how you like your sound with the extra bass feature. And they also give you an app in order to tweak the sound to your taste, you know, take out the bass a little bit or add some stereo to it. Uh, but at the same time, usually what I tell people is that the app or the EQ is not what solves everything. What the EQ is able to do is based off of what the speaker is capable of. So I don't think I ever use EQs on my speakers. I play sound plain as is, and that's why when I do my testing, I don't use EQs at all because those are, they introduce everybody to their own taste. So that's something that you can do by your own on your phone if you're able to and tweak the sound to the way you want it. So I don't like to test EQs unless it's a video dedicated to that. Um, but yeah, Sony gives you an EQ that you can use to tweak the sound to the way you want it. So that's a plus. People like EQs and you can use, I'm not saying it's bad, that they are to be used. So. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you plan on picking up or you want to see how much the speakers are going for right now, I will leave the links to these speakers down in the description, description section below. So check them out, use those links. It helps out the channel if you do that. And I really do appreciate you guys who go ahead and do that. And, it's really handy. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for watching this one. If you're new here, please subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. Um, if you liked the video, leave it a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Um, I just want to get some sort of feedback from you because you watched the video. What do you think? Um, yep. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.